Hi guys, my name is Julia and I'm an intern at Edwards Aquifer Authority and today we're going to make sugar caves. The supplies you'll need for this experiment are a bowl of sugar cubes, you're going to need about 30 to 50, a clear glass container, some modeling clay, and then some other materials to make as earth, um, toothpicks, and then water. From this activity, we're able to see how caves are formed as water erodes away from the surface. So the sugar cubes are going to represent the limestone as well as the modeling clay to represent the ground, including leaves, rocks, and moss. And then from the holes that are poked through from the toothpicks, um, and the water is going to show how water seeps into the ground. The first step of this experiment is to arrange the sugar cubes against the glass loosely three by four cubes high and three to four cubes deep to make a hill. The second step for this experiment is to cover the sugar cubes with modeling clay to represent the earth. So I went ahead and flattened some of my modeling clay out. So there you go. And then as well as like any parts to make it look like earth. So here's this, and then as well as more dirt. And then we went ahead and added some rocks. as well as some moss. All right. And you can add any additional clay to represent grass, rocks, flowers. The third step of this experiment is to use a toothpick or a sharp pencil to create holes on top of your clay hill. These will be the holes that will allow water into the cave. And so the fourth step of this experiment is to pour water on top of your formation and it should filter down through the holes and to erode the sugar. All right, and this is gonna flow out of the spring into the bottom. As you can see, the ground, which is the clay, can only stand for a short amount of time, but when the clay collapses because they're no longer supported by the rock, a sinkhole will form. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to follow us on social media and to share your experience with the activity. Thank you.